Hey guys, Nate here again, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my experience on the Drew Barrymore show for the Scream episode, which airs this Monday, January 10th, 2022. Um, and then I'm also going to show you a couple more items from my collection. I'm just going to kind of show you a couple random things just because they're a little bit smaller items. Um, so I don't know they necessarily warrant their own video. There's not a lot to say about them. Um, so, yeah, so let's get started. So basically, we'll start with the Drew Barrymore show. So I was invited by the producers to be a VIP guest uh, for the taping of the Drew Barrymore show in New York City uh, for the Scream episode, for the Scream reunion episode. Now, I do want to say that what was originally planned for the show isn't exactly what the show ended up being obviously because of COVID totally understand. Um, I, it was still a blast to be there. I got to meet Drew. She's amazing. Um, the, the rest of the cast, unfortunately couldn't be there in person, but they, they were still there via zoom. Um, the interview was great. They actually revealed a lot of stuff about the filming of the first scream that even I didn't know. So, I don't know how much of it is actually going to make it into the final show. The show itself is probably like 42 minutes without commercials. I'm assuming the interview segment's probably only going to be like 10 or 15 minutes long. Um, and they interviewed him for almost an hour and a half. So that was really cool that I got to see and be there live for the complete cast interview. Um, the, the whole entire episode is Scream themed. It's amazing. Uh, you guys are going to love it. Definitely tune into that. Again, it's Monday, January 10th, 2022, the Drew Barrymore Show Scream Special. Thank you so much to the producers for inviting me on the show as a VIP guest, along with several other well-known Scream fans, Maggie Blaine, a.k.a. our very own Scream Queen, um, and also Jasmine Torres. Amazing to see all these people there. Um, some really, really good friends of mine from, uh, scream -oween. They actually attended my event, scream -a -ween, la back in 2020. Um, Jenna and Destiny, they were also in attendance for the show. Uh, we all had a blast and I cannot thank the producers enough for giving us fans such an amazing experience in person and Fans everywhere around the world, an amazing experience with this episode that airs this Monday. It's going to be great. Um, they did give everybody uh, in the audience a 4K version of Scream. I, of course, already had that, um, but you know I kept it still sealed. So maybe we'll do a little giveaway on the channel here in the next few days for this. Um, and then I got to wear this mask on the show briefly. It's kind of a really weird shaped ultra white. It's a little off. The eyes are a little kind of off, droopy, crooked. Um, but uh, only a select few members of the audience were given masks to wear for a particular shot on the show um, of the audience. Um, that's all I can really say about it. But point being, not everybody in the audience was given a mask to wear. There was maybe about 50 or 60 people in the audience. Again, the audience was like, normally there's 200 some they were down to like 50 or 60 because of COVID. Um, but uh, yeah, only about eight people were given a mask to wear. So I do wear this mask on the Drew Barrymore show. Um, you do see me wearing it on the Drew Barrymore show. So this is technically a screen used screen mask from the Drew Barrymore show. All the haters out there are going to be like, damn that Nate Reagan. Every time he turns around, he pulls a screen used mask out of his ass. There's one person in particular that I can I can think is probably thinking that right now, saying that to himself if he's watching this video. Um, all joking aside, um, yeah, the, obviously, it's an ultra white mask that was given to us on the show. But again, I did wear it. It is on screen. Technically, this is a screen used ghost face mask from the Drew Barrymore show. Um, so very happy to have this as well. Very cool piece in my collection now the other couple of small things i wanted to show you guys today um this is my scream 3 call sheet 
pretty rare. Um, I honestly haven't seen any other call sheets from the third Scream. I've seen quite a few from the uh, first two as well as four, but not a whole lot from three. Um, so people that don't know, a call sheet is basically... Um, it tells you if you if you're a crew member or a cast member on a film, you get one of these every morning, every day, every shooting day, and it tells you everything you need to know. It's like the entire schedule, everybody's phone number that you may or may not need, um, the, what they're shooting that day. If you're in props, it tells you what props they need, wardrobe, everything you can think of. There's a whole list on the back of the entire cast and crew, like everybody. Um, so this one was from. August 27th, 1999. And as you see, it's listed as untitled. Uh, you see director Wes Craven, writer Aaron Kruger. And so on this day, on I'm going to kind of try to angle, I know it's kind of weird, a weird angle here, but I'm trying to get it so I can see it and then also show you guys. So... On August 27, 1999, they filmed the interior of Milton's mansion and the screening room scenes. Uh, they filmed Milton's mansion room and bedroom scenes. And they filmed when, essentially when Ghostface shows up and like slashes Dewey on the arm and stabs Tyson and all that. They filmed that on uh, August 27, 1999. And then down here... It shows the locations, like the addresses where they filmed that. It has the cast members that were to be there that day. Um, one thing that's interesting, if you look here, it has the cast members' names and then the role they're playing. You can go down and look. Everything matches perfectly, but when you get right here, Scott Foley, who is he playing? Roman Banks. I don't know if you can make that out right there above my finger. Roman Banks, it says on the call sheet. Now, I don't know if that's just like a misprint or something, like a mistype on these, because somebody types these out every day. Um, I just thought it was interesting that it says Roman Banks on here. Um, I've never seen anywhere where the name Banks was even, even in like that, the Scream 3 script that I have, the archive one. Um, it was always Roman Bridger. Obviously, before shooting, they had to create, like, the props, which one of which was Roman's trophy from Scream 3, which I own, and it says right on the plate, Roman Bridger. So, I'm guessing that this was just some sort of mistake made on the call sheet. But, interesting nonetheless, that it says Roman Banks instead of Roman Bridger. Um, you see here it shows the special equipment needed it shows right there props ice pick said cell phone roman cell phone kincaid's gun knives gunfire dewey's gun um so yeah there's a lot of neat information on these just thought i i know it's really small writing it's hard for the camera to pick up but yeah this is an original not a copy but an original call sheet from scream 3 and then the other kind of small item I wanted to show you guys today, this, this jar here is probably the smallest Scream memorabilia, like Scream used memorabilia that I own. This is a Scream used something from Scream 4. Screen used, Scream worn. I can't believe it still exists. I can't believe I have it. Um... Such an odd piece, but very cool nonetheless to my collection. So in this jar that's filled with liquid is, I'm going to flip up the cap <coughs> so you can see. As you see, it says Jill Emma RX. What does that mean? What's in here, you ask? There you go. What is in this jar is the bloody contact lens that... Emma Roberts wears at the end of Scream 4 during the fight in the hospital. I believe it's this eye here. Um, during that whole scene, it's just bloody and bloodshot from, like, getting hit or whatever. Um, 
this is that contact. It was a prescription lens that was specially made just for Emma. Um, it survived all those years. It's still in this jar where it's preserved for hopefully all time. Um, and yeah, that's it. Like I said, kind of weird. Totally understand. Uh, some people have been like, ooh, you have someone's contact. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it. That's, that is Jill's bloody eyeball contact worn by Emma Roberts in Scream 4. Again, definitely one of the strangest pieces of my, uh, screen use collection, but, uh, cool nonetheless, in my opinion. So there it is. And that about does it for the video. Um, again, everybody please tune in to the Drew Barrymore show on monday january 10th 2022 for the scream special scream fans are not going to want to miss this i promise you um it's going to be incredible um and in the meantime as we continue the countdown to scream 2022 being released in theaters we are getting closer and closer i'm going to continue to be doing videos showing you guys some really cool scream items so if you don't want to miss any of those like and subscribe share this please uh thanks for watching today guys